right guys, this here is a 1980 Ford F-150 van, and I'm going to see if I can get this thing running. Let's take a look at it. The main goal here is to see if the engine's any good, and I'd love to get it running and driving so we can rip it around and do some burnouts and stuff. This thing's got a four nine inch rear end. It's got a, I believe a three or four speed transmission, manual transmission, and a legendary 306 cylinder, full of mouse nests everywhere. This has got the uh, DuraSpark system here, so we'll see if that's any good. Um, the first order of business is to get the shop back over here and vacuum all of this stuff out of here, clean it up so we kind of know what we're working with, and to see if the engine will even spin over. So uh, I got the this battery cable here, the positive battery cable I stole off of that Ford F-150 over there. Um, because this doesn't have the positive battery cable, so I'm just going to wire that into the starter solenoid here. That is the the battery original battery cable is missing. Obviously, someone took it off and just left the nut loose. So I'm just gonna put this in place of where it needs to go here, and hopefully we'll get something. Maybe headlights or something. Well, would you look at that? We got headlights. Just stuck a battery in here. Not a very old Superstar battery. And hooked up the cables and we got headlights. Did you find the hazard switch? Probably. Yeah, you gotta pull it out, I think. There we go. Blink on the dash. Oh yeah, they work. That one, for some reason, oh, I think the amber is missing on that one because it's white. And that side's amber, but we got... Let's see if we got taillights. Not like this stuff really matters. No, nothing back here. So this van's pretty much... It's just going to be a parts van, there's no title, and it's not really worth getting a title for, you know. But, there's the sticker. 1997, which is probably the last time it ran. It's got tons of good parts, for 9 inch rear end. It's got a, I believe a 4 speed transmission. Let's see, one, two, three. Now uh, that might be reverse. Yeah, it might just be a three speed deal. Very sloppy, but that'd be a good enough to drive it around. It used to be a column shift and somebody converted it, but there's the back of the 300. This thing's pretty clapped out, but it's rust free. Well, a little bit of rust on the doors actually, but. Really nice shape. If anybody needed parts for a Ford van. All right, I got all the nastiness vacuumed out of here. Looking a lot better. Actually, see what I'm working with now. So, just got the generator down here, with the shop back. I can actually see the engine. So, next thing I'm gonna do is pop off that air filter, and so I can get to the carburetor. Kind of see what that's looking like, and probably pull the spark plugs out and shoot some PB blaster down in the cylinders kind of get it lubed up I really hope that Dura spark unit works 
think I just need to figure out which side of that coil is the hot side and wire it directly to the battery because I don't have a key for this so it was uh, the ignition cylinder here was drilled out so that it can be turned might be able to hot wire it here as well it's kind of cool it has the valve cover there that says powered power by Ford I didn't know they I don't know really anything about Fords I didn't know they still were using that valve cover into the 80s I mean of course it might not be the original engine but I highly doubt it's been replaced all right guys I want to show you just how clean this old oil is here just checking all the essentials before I crank it over look at that full so right now obviously there's no spark and I'm just gonna crank it over see if it cranks over um, kind of get some oil flowing I've got this piece of wire here nice thing about the Fords one thing I did know about these truck these vehicles is they're really easy to jump really easy to hot wire the starter just gotta go in here if it'll work if we don't have a bad ground or something just gotta go in here and touch the two wires together basically these two wires or these two terminals that's what I'm gonna do here let's see if it'll turn over well it turns over really good doesn't have any gallop or anything so that's a good sign starter works all right so I actually figured out how to how the whole ignition key rod thing works I'm gonna spray some ether in the carburetor right now it's actually starter fluid but same thing we're gonna see what if it does anything Basically this rod right here is what the key turns. That's key off, that's key on. And if I push this rod down, it turns over. And it fires right up. <laughs> that's insane. So I got this uh, electric fuel pump here. Um, it's got a couple alligator clamps on it so you can clamp it right on the battery I just the problem is I don't have long enough hoses so I need to figure out where I can find hoses maybe I can climb under this thing and steal some off of the original line we're gonna take a look at it if there is gas in the gas tank it's probably still good being from 1998 when they actually made gas decent without all the ethanol crap in it so we're just trying to figure out a fuel system so we can hear it run for more than two seconds but it's pretty exciting. It has spark. I was a little concerned about the off the, or the Dura spark thing because it has all that goo leaking out of it, but apparently it still works. I guess it just got really hot at one time. So let's see what happens. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and see if this original fuel pump will work without wire, uh, rigging up that electric fuel pump I have. So we stole some uh, uh, washer fluid hose off of that truck over there and I know it's not made for it but remember this is temporary and we're gonna hook that into the fuel pump and then just run this into my gas can inside and we'll see if it starts picking it up. It'd be kind of cool to hear the thing run for longer than two seconds so let's see what happens. Well I might not have the right um, hose but I do have fuel injection hose clamps so that's uh that's pretty fancy. I'm gonna stick one of these on there, keep it from popping off, and the 
put the other side into the gas can. We're not going to run any filter at the moment. Hopefully, that shouldn't be a problem because I got fresh clean gas in that can. Alright, so I got the hose running through a gas can here, and it's going to take a little bit to actually see if that pump's going to work or not. pointless because really gummed up I doubt they're gonna do anything but maybe it will Crank it. Am I gonna hit the post? No. no. Just crank it. 